Hey friends, I, I'm thinking that this might be the next painting that I work on. I started this in a, like, I guess a workshop, a real actual live workshop that I was teaching here in the studio. And, uh, I kind of like the way that it's going. I, I like the way that it, it is working, but it needs to be finished. So I think after I finish this painting, I'm going to work on this one. But thank you for coming and hanging out with me today. I, uh, I am looking forward to this painting getting done here. And I, I actually think that I should be able to finish it or get really close in this session. I, I, I think I have enough time that I can uh, kind of make that happen. I think. Well, it might be two sessions, but we're getting close. So, I guess I should just say closer. You know how that is with art, right? I mean, it's like, yeah, it seems like you're, you know, maybe getting close, but I almost always can see something else that needs a little bit of work. So, I don't want to, I don't want to act like I'm further along than I really am because that, that last 10% can be a slow process. There's often a lot of time in between sessions. So it might, but not, might not be that I'm done in the final, final state, but it'll be probably be done for the demonstration sake. This line that I put in a little bit ago, which I actually like, I use tape to go on this edge. And it created a nice, strong edge. I like it a lot, but I want to soften the edge a little bit. It's just a tiny bit too hard all the way across. So I've got dry paint on my brush right now. All right, I mean, <laughs> not dry paint. I've got just a little bit of paint on my brush. So it's like a dry brush effect. How are you doing today though? Let me know in the comments below what you're working on, what you're thinking about. I'd love to know what's going on. And, and this is for, for some of you, you might not know a ton about what, what I do and what, what we do as a team, but if you want to learn and grow and and just become a more confident artist and and gain the skills that you need to be able to paint basically anything that you want and do it with you know developing your own style developing your own voice i'd love to invite you to come to acrylicuniversity.com and see what we have to offer because we have quite a few free resources that can help you. You know, if you're a beginner, if you're like, I'm not sure if I'm headed in the right direction. I can tell you from my experience, I had been painting in acrylics for about six months. And I honestly didn't know what I was doing. And one of the most important and helpful things that ever happened to me was I went to a workshop with a really great artist. His name is Mike Svob. He's a Canadian artist. And I was living in Canada. I'm a dual citizen. And I, I learned some essential things that helped me have a a basic framework for painting. I'm not even joking. It was the, some of the most helpful and important, um, like one of the most important things for me was, oh my goodness, I'm trying to get up my reference photo. For some reason, my reference photo went away and now I can't see it. I can't see it. I got to find this. Oh, well, 
it'll come up here eventually. But if you're in that place where you're trying to figure out, like, am I headed in the right direction? And is what I'm practicing, right? Because we all know that practice is important. Practice makes a big difference. Well, am I practicing the right things? Because that was where I was at. I was practicing. I was trying. I was having some fun and I was having, you know, like I was doing my best with what I was doing. But the, the funny thing was after going to that, that first workshop, what I realized was like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I went to this workshop because while I was having fun, while it was, you know, enjoyable to a certain extent, it became a lot more enjoyable and my efforts were a lot uh, exponentially helped when I understood that actually the way that I was doing stuff was not really the way that I, I, I should have been doing things. And not that there's like a wrong way, but I was coming from a watercolor world. My parents had, had been watercolor artists and I had grown up doing a little bit of painting in watercolor. And so I, I just brought that framework into my, my new adventure in acrylic paints. And what I realized in that first workshop was I was like exactly backwards from, from the way that he was teaching us how to paint. And it was like, oh, wow. I didn't know you could do that with acrylic paints. I, I, I was just like mind blown. It changed everything for me. And so I've realized over time, like, okay, I want to help people. I want to help people because that jump forward in understanding can be really helpful. So if you don't know, you know, kind of like where to start with acrylics or if you're transitioning, like I was, I had had some experience in painting, but I didn't know exactly what I was doing in a new medium or if you just want some basic understanding of art principles, I really recommend you just go to acrylicuniversity.com. Take the free, we've got a beginner course that is absolutely free. We've got a few other things on there. You can, of course, check out videos on this channel. We'll have a master class that comes up from time to time that is 100% free. There's, there's all sorts of resources that we have uh, that will help you make that mental and skill jump forward. That You know what it does? It just gives you greater joy in what you're doing because you're like, oh, you know how if you're, if you're in a new city and you're lost... <laughs> It's not that fun to walk around when you're lost. Like if you absolutely don't know where you're going, it's not fun. It's fearful. It's like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not. But if you know where you are and you know where you're going and you're walking that same exact path, then you can look around and go, oh, hey, look at that pretty you know, scene over there. Oh, look at the light. Don't you like that building over there? The way it looks like all of a sudden, the same things that were kind of scary for you before become enjoyable. So I want you to have that experience. And so that's why I'm encouraging you and inviting you to just come straight to Acrylic University and check out some of the free resources that will help you. I'm going to put a little bit more of a saturated color. I I put more color up here in the sky. This blue has gone from more of a gray to it's a more saturated color. And this down here, I don't want to make it totally like it's not super, super green. This is a, a different, um, I'm just trying to think. This is in case you're just coming in, this is titanium white, cadmium yellow light, cadmium orange. What is this? This is burnt orange. 
This is cadmium or naphthol red. This is called quinacridone red in a lot of brands in Windsor Newton, which is what I'm using. Professional grade here. It is called permanent rose. This is ultramarine blue, dioxazine violet. This is chromium oxide green, and this is thalo green. And I should probably put that on my screen somewhere so that you can see what my actual colors are. But this is not a typical, like, like if you're looking at this, you're kind of new to our channel or something like that, and you're thinking, is this how they teach at Acrylic University? No, this is not. This is just a studio session. This is just me hanging out, chilling with my friends, and having a good time. Because art is actually a lot of fun. And it's an enjoyable process. I love painting. You, man, and, and the thing that I love about art, I say this all the time, and I'm sure if you've been painting at all for any length of time, you've, you've realized this. Like, when you paint things, you notice things. All of a sudden, your interest in the way things look in the world, it increases a lot. Like I notice things all the time now. I'm driving around and I'm like, oh, whoa. Look at the way the sun looks over there. The sunlight is hitting that tree. Whoa, look at that. And all of a sudden everything goes, it's like you're a kid again. You know how kids just look at the world with awe and wonder and they're always, you know, mesmerized and like checking things out and they're, they're interested in stuff that we walk past on a regular basis and we just we're bored because we're old and we don't we just like oh i just gotta get to my next meeting i gotta do the next thing but a kid kind of sits around they're like oh my goodness look at the look at the the ground it's it's brown and it's you know we're like can't understand why they're so mesmerized but it's because kids are dang creative geniuses and they're interested in lots of stuff that we've grown a little bit too old for sometimes and we need to recapture what's it like to be a kid again what's it like to see the world through the eyes of wonder and amazement and art is a really good way to do that art makes you get mesmerized with just simple things simple things that you used to walk past and now you think i can't believe that i didn't notice how intricate and beautiful the world is around me or maybe you've always noticed it but you just are noticing it in a new way But that's the way it is for me now, is that when I walk around, I'm consistently looking at things and I'm thinking about this would be such a cool scene to paint. Oh, I'd love to, love to get my paints out right here and, and start painting. Or I think, maybe I should go get my camera. Where's my phone? Can we pull over the car to the chagrin of my family, <laughs> my wife and daughter? They're, they've been on many trips with me where I'm consistently just stopping. and Oh, no, just one more, one more shot. Oh, but the angle is slightly different from over here. Dad, you got you got pictures of this already. I know I did, but this is the last one. I I I I'm not gonna stop again. Anyway, <laughs> I think that it's fun though for me because as much as um, every once in a while my daughter is, you know, she might think that I'm a little bit crazy or something like that, but it's also really cool 
when you see her do it. And she goes, oh my goodness. Hey dad, did you look at the sunset? Look, hey dad, you gotta go outside right now. Because beauty is something that uh, we want to share with other people. Naturally. If we're experiencing something that's really...